In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an animated landscape where the background changes between night and day. So you're going to want to start off with a landscape that you coded. It can really look like whatever you want. Um, so maybe pause the video and make sure that you have a landscape coded and ready to go in advance. Next thing we're going to do is make three variables. One for sun y that equals zero. It's going to be for our sun's y location. We'll make one for light that is equal to zero, and that's going to allow us to change the color of the background. And we'll make a variable for night that equals zero for now, and we'll go back and change that later, but that's going to allow us to switch between night and day. So you want to make sure if you don't already have a sun in your landscape, you need to add one in for this animation. So I'm going to make a sun, it's the shape of an ellipse, it up in the top left corner. You can really put it wherever you want, doesn't, doesn't really matter. And you'll just want to give it a color, fill, all right. So the next thing that we're going to do is add sun y to our sun's y value. So right now my sun's y value is 60, so I'm going to do plus sun y. And always make sure that you match up if you did a capital letter or a lowercase letter, you got to match it up. So now I'm adding sun y, nothing's really happening yet, and that's okay. Nothing's really supposed to happen yet because we haven't added in any math statements yet. So what we're going to do now is subtract light from each one of our R, G, and B values for our background. And the reason that we're going to do this is because that's what's going to allow us to make it darker when it's nighttime, when the sun goes down. So I'm going to add in my math statements now. I'm going to say sun y equals sun y plus night. Then I'm going to say light equals light plus night. So this is what's going to allow our background color to change and it to be able to be day or night. So light equals light plus night divided by two. All right, so we want night to equal one. And when our sun is moving down, you'll see that the background is getting darker and I did a rainbow in mine and I did the inside of that rainbow the same color as the background so I just need to make sure that I subtract light from that as well. So I found the fill command for that. I'm going to make sure that I subtract light from it and that's what's going to allow me to make sure that it actually looks like the background's changing. And I'm going to move my sun so it's above everything because I didn't like that it was setting above the ground. So I want to make sure that my sun is setting behind the ground, which you know it's doing. All right, so now as the sun goes down, the background gets darker and it's starting to look like nighttime. So now what we need to do is make it so that our sun actually comes back up and it becomes daytime again. So we can do this by saying if sun y is greater than, let's say 600, then what I want to happen is I want night to equal negative night. So night happens, night is basically like the speed. So instead of going down and becoming night, the opposite of night would be day, right? So now it's becoming daytime when it comes back up. I'll take a minute to do this. All right, there we go. So we can see the background's getting lighter and the sun is coming back up. You could also change it so that the sun sets diagonally. You could change it so it sets from left to right. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this project. Uh, you'll notice that my sun goes off the screen there, so you'll want to fix that and make it so that if sun is, let's say, less than zero, you can make it less than like negative 100 or something like that to make it look a little bit more smooth. Um, but you'll either just want to say night equals negative night or just reset night to one, which is what it initially is. All right, and that's how you would make a landscape that goes from, from night to day. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest videos.